Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to continue on part two of repentance and forgiveness. And I believe my dog barked in the last video. I don't know if it caught him barking, but I wanted to not make the video too long anyway. Um, and we're going to do part two now. So one of the ones, uh, one of the scripture verses about Forgiveness is Jeremiah thirty one thirty four. I will forgive their sins. I will remember their sins no more. Um, also, Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 8 to 11. If that nation against whom I have spoken turns from its evil, I will relent of the disaster that I thought to bring upon it and... The instant I speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant it, if it does evil in my sight so that it does not obey my voice, then I will relent concerning the good with which I said I would benefit it. The correlating scripture to that is Isaiah 45, 9. Also, I put these two together about repentance. Second Chronicles 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. We need that now more than ever, brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. And one thing the Holy Spirit was putting on my heart about repentance is it's not just saying I'm sorry for my sin. It's actively seeking to stop committing that sin and we need the help of Jesus and the Holy Spirit and God the Father to help us with stopping uh, from sinning because we're flesh and blood and and um, it's difficult you know and we all sin and fall short of the glory of God every single day but the Lord was really put upon my heart about changing our ways about repenting of the sin, but then actively trying to um, change that sin or not to sin anymore. Amen. So Luke 6 verse 37 says, Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. And that's about forgiveness. Thank you, Jesus. And he above all people, <laughs> didn't know any sin and died willingly on the cross so that we um, may be forgiven. He took our sins upon himself. And his uh, words on the cross, Luke 23, um, 34 to 38, dying, Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Talk about the ultimate forgiveness, the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate love, really, truly. Amen. Um, and Second Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10 says, For godly grief produces repentance that leads to salvation without regret, whereas cowardly grief, um, pardon me, worldly grief, sorry, produces death. Worldly grief produces death. My uh, my chicken scratch writing, I couldn't read the word. I apologize. And uh, about forgiveness, this verse, um, Ephesians 4, 31 and 32, get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, brawling, slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. The parable of the unforgiving servant. Um, I won't read all that, but um, prior to that, in Matthew 18, verse 21 and 22, um, Peter asked Jesus, how many times do I have to forgive my brother who sins against me? And Jesus said, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Amen. So, um, and then after that was the parable of the unforgiving servant, which Jesus spoke on. Um, I hope this word of God blessed you today, and I love you in Christ. 
let us work on repenting of sins and also forgiving others as well as ourselves. That's very important. I believe that unforgiveness is a wedge between ourselves and God. Um, He's laid it on my heart a lot of times about forgiveness and how important it is. And we will be judged on the amount that we forgive others um, from God. So uh, I love you in Christ. Have a wonderful evening.